He welcomes visitors with his signature bowl cut hair and round glasses. Paris's Mayo Museum presents a retrospective of French Japanese artist Fujita Togahara's works 50 years after he passed away. Fujita, painting in the Roaring Twenties, focuses on the painter's first and very productive Parisian period between 1913 and 1931. During these 17 years, he really built his image and his career on what we call the Great Works on White. We see his urban landscapes and a person of 1,000 facets, both tender and loving with cats, tender with children, an admirer of Western art who never forgot his Oriental culture. Thanks to his Japanese artistic background, he was able to merge Eastern and Western styles. And that's probably what made him stand out in Paris. His dream was Paris. He arrived in Paris at the age of 27 for two or three years of studies and stayed indefinitely. He wrote his father, who was an important role model for him, know that I wish to stay in Paris and consider me dead until I'm famous. So he did have an objective, to become the most important painter in Paris. Fujita's recurrent themes were self-portraits, cats and women. He painted this piece in 1927. Fujita placed more importance on the aquarium in the background and the fish seemed to carry more weight than the portrait of the woman, which is still lovely. And that paradox resumes Fujita's work and his life, a man who was both image conscious but also mundane. Fujita's career developed between two cultures. And that was the base for him to become such a unique artist who was celebrated even 50 years after his death. Mm -hmm.